Hey there, folks. It's uh, February 11th, the Monday. Uh, let's see. They're going to maybe do another government shutdown as part of the news tonight. Um, lots going on, as usual. I thought I'd take a break here and uh, discuss quadres a little bit more. There's been some conversation recently. I thought, you know, I'm kind of doing a class in a way. People are giving me feedback and I'm doing my doing my shtick. And I just wanted to show you a contemporary search like here in 2019 with a search on quadres, what do I get? Top of the line is the Wikipedia page and then some more stuff about um, you know, quadre papers at the math form and then mixed in of course is a commercial product a certain um like very powerful flashlight kind of thing. So that's the state of the art as of 2019. I thought I would just show that. And then let's go to the uh, Wikipedia page. You've seen these graphics before on my other pages, perhaps. The, um, the thing is to disambiguate quadrays and what are called synergetics coordinates which is this whole other thing in Wikipedia, which I don't want to be seen as knowing much about because then I have to relearn it and stuff. I understand the quadre coordinates. I don't understand the synergetics coordinates, and neither one is in synergetics itself. In other words, the two-volume work, not talking about yet another work by another author, just once we've disambiguated down to, to Fuller, then there's his synergetics in two volumes. You can't copyright a title. So let's say there are a million synergetics. Okay, we'll get it down to the two volumes, which were meant to be dovetailed. They're numbered passages, so they go into really making one volume that's too thick for the spine. Like, you wouldn't want a, a synergetics like that. It wouldn't sell well. But once the web came along, which, see, the web was invented not long after synergetics came around. So synergetics was a prime candidate for hypertext, and Dr. Gray, Bob Gray, took that on. And so synergetics has been completely on the web for a long time, and there are a lot of links to it from all over the place, including from my synergetics on the web. So shout out to Bob for giving us that resource early on in the game. Now, synergetics coordinates and quadres, at least from my point of view, arise separately in different clicks. Remember I've talked about the many clicks, or I don't know how many. It's not like I know everything. But the quadre people and the synergetics coordinates people were different clicks, and I would claim, at least from my point of view, that neither one of these coordinate uh, inventions, apparatus, are in synergetics itself. It's not something Fuller invented. I just don't want to saddle him with that, either one of them, right? They're not, I don't want to posthumously give him something to defend that he didn't ever come up with. It's not fair. It's not like I think it's a bad thing, these coordinate systems. Uh, I don't understand the one by Clifford Nelson that much. It's not Clifford algebra. Don't confuse that. Uh, okay, so with quadres, the other thing that I want to say is in going from Wittgenstein to Fuller and choosing quadres as a kind of a philosophy game that we could play to discuss the meaning of uh, certain things, uh, again, that's not the only way to do philosophy of mathematics with Fuller. I would take it actually step back from that <clears throat> and just talk about the whole third powering thing is that a valid way to uh to uh to branch like can you branch away from mainstream with this alternate way of thinking about second third powering such that tetrahedron has a whole number volume of 1 and then the the rest of the concentric hierarchy throw all that out there as a proposal and it's like what do you think of this again it's a philosophical question here's this thing it's an apparatus it's got it's sort of it's kind of bow tie universe if you recall because the jitterbug shrinks down and expands in kind of a what we call a dorgy in the 
tantric tradition, I guess you could say, a dumbbell shape or bow tie. That whole apparatus, philosophical kind of, uh, what's the other word for it when something's shaped that way? Um, yes, the vortex, of course, and uh, but the hourglass, hourglass shape is another thing I want to mention there. That all fits as synergetics, as as Fuller conceived of it. And then since his time, of course, we'd expect more things to go on, branches and so on. So I've talked about Waterman polyhedrons, um, and under the heading of, uh, well, then there's flextegrity in addition to tensegrity. Um, those things didn't all stand still. So the 90s saw a lot of activity, and here we are 20 years into the 21st century. Things didn't stand still then either. So when I talk way out in the future in 2019, from Synergetics, the two volumes being published in 1980-ish, yeah, it's been 40 years. What do you expect? There's been um, developments. And so just wanted to make clear some of the history and the chronology in case you're just coming to this whole story and you're trying to sort it out in kind of a timeline. I feel for you. It's complicated. So talk to you later. Just got that uh, got that out. <laughs>